All right, hello world historians. This video is going to go over the five documents in the DBQ1 that we had for the FRQ for the week in peer grade. So first off, whenever you get a DBQ, you gotta look at the prompt first. If you want some more help with dissecting the prompt, take a look at the Zoom 2 meeting and um, we are break down the three key things, time period, topic, and historical thinking skills that you want to pull from the prompt. And also, um, why well, I put the prompt here now is because we need to have that key question. So when you read each document, what is that key question that you're looking for? And essentially, that is what achievements are made in the Sub-Saharan region, kingdoms, and empires during this time period. So looking at source one, document one, here's the source line and what it, what information it gives to you. So after reading this document, the first thing I think about is all the wealth. And that may be something you remember about Mansa Musa as known as the most wealthiest man in the world. Um, especially in this time period, or maybe ever, essentially. Um, and there's a key, you know, organized and structure, you know, to um, their achievements to be able to give money to another empire or kingdom, you know, in Egypt um, with Cairo. Um, so, you know, what are the achievements here? You know, the, the mass wealth and generosity to spread that um, to other nations, especially being this that is a Middle Eastern nation. So just to clarify, what is the achievement? The establishment of a secure justice system and a safe city to be in. Document two, or excuse me, document three. There's your source and what it's telling us about. You know, the first thing I see is, you know, we're looking at an artist in an art, um, you know, the, the, showing you the wax process um, to create bronze sculptures. Um, so the key achievement here is the, I mean, the attention to details in their art, in this process of how they make it. Very well knowledgeable. The next source, doc document four, we got the source and what it's saying. And in document four, um, you know, the first thing, you know, you see uh, a religious city with, you know, mentioning Muslims. There's 12 mosques. Um, you know, it's very highly organized. There's key infrastructure, you know, with the 12 mosques, with the um, water being able to drink and grow vegetables. So you've got an irrigation system. Um, you have two towns, six miles apart with lots of people. Um, houses, you know, of, you know, more infrastructure talked about there. So the key achievements here is that nice organized society, you know, key infrastructure, religion. So there's a lot of things that you can pull from from this. You don't have to use them all for document four. Um, you know, a lot of times you might have one document that you can just see one particular thing. And then other ones like this has so many ways that you could pull a little information from. You don't have to use every single thing that's in document four. Just whatever you need to prove your point on an argument. Have it be about religion or about organization. All right, and so then we go to document five. This last document is always gonna be non-text based, a picture of some sort. Um, and a lot of students always ask about how do you source an image, but that'll be in the next video. So for here, um, it's easy to misinterpret what you see in, in pictures, on, ironically. Um, but this one, hopefully the first thing you're thinking of, what achievement do they have going on here? This is an example of art, of an artifact. Very intricate. Um, it's almost like when you get a visual of a document five, you describe what you see, you know an intricate looking lifelike snake, um, high detail, um, you know, with the little ridges around the, the snake and everything. Um, it's an amazing piece of art. 
and that breaks down your five documents. In the next video, I'm actually going to break down these five documents again, but really looking at your sourcing, you know, the happy, you know, how can you pull out the historical significance, the audience, the purpose, or the point of view of the document, and explain why it's relevant, why it's important to your argument. So thanks for watching and keep on studying and practicing your DBQs for the World History Exam.